everybody, this is Praxis, and as you can see behind you, there's the completed wall I was working on yesterday. I was able to get all the wall boards on there. They went pretty well. Uh, there's a couple little places where there's some little gaps over at the top over there. I'm just going to correct that by just uh, detaching some of the ends of some of the boards, and instead of there being one gap up here, I'm going to kind of like share it between a few boards, and it'll just disappear into the wall. It'll all be fine. I'm jumping in on this wall this morning, and I haven't really done much, but I'm already feeling kind of tight. Fall's coming on. Uh, you know, it's just cooler in the morning, so your muscles are a little cooler. Uh, also, I, well, I guess yesterday, uh, I was carrying that huge piece of granite. Um, you know, I'm I'm sure that, that thing alone uh, didn't do it. And by the way, that piece of granite, I did the math on it, was actually about 200 pounds for that granite countertop. But between that and everything else, you know, I'm not a construction worker. This is something I've jumped into. And it reminds me a lot of, like, emergency situations. You know, people think, you know, I, they've got an office job, but, like, you know, they'll be at work and, you know, the shit will hit the van and they've got to, like, hoof it back home with their get-home bag. Uh, and, you know, whenever you... Uh, you know, are not used to a certain type of activity, and then suddenly it happens, like, you know, there's a big snowstorm and everybody's shoveling, people are having heart attacks and things like that. Um, you know, whenever you jump, you know, out of one type of uh, physical activity status into another one, and the other one's, you know, more intense, then, you know, things can happen. You know, you can pull muscles, you can get injured, uh, you, you can have a heart attack, like I was saying, and, you know, taking a little bit of time to prevent that stuff from happening can really pay off, and I'm not talking just about, like, it's good not to have a heart attack, uh, you know, today, if I just jumped in on this and I start swinging hammers and carrying boards and stuff, I'll probably like pull a neck muscle because everything's just kind of tight and cool this morning. So I figured I'd do a little bit of stretching and I thought I'd share that with you. I'm going to do something called the salute to the sun. It's a type of yoga thing where you just hit a couple of different poses. I like it because it's kind of quick and I feel like it just kind of hits everything, you know, again, quickly, uh, you know, gets the stretching out of the way and then I can actually get to the work. Uh, you start by uh, having your feet about shoulders width apart like this, and hook your hands together and do kind of a nice stretch like that. And you don't have to like go crazy back, just as far as you start feeling the stretch. And I'm feeling it there, so I'm not going to push it. And then make a big circle there. Just hang here. You don't have to touch your toes. Just kind of hang there, feel it behind your legs. And I'm going to go down into kind of a reverse push-up, where you go down, and then butt up in the air. And you want to have a straight line between your hands and your butt, and your butt and your heels, and the heels are pushing into the ground. And I can feel that. And then this kind of stretch, where your, your eyeballs are trying to like look behind you. I can feel that in my lower back. All right. And then back into that tent again. I kind of say it looks like a tent because it's like a triangle. And then I'm going to bring one of my feet forward, like that and kind of push down like this. Arms up. And arms down. Alright. And then back into that tent. Then the other leg. Push into that for a little bit. Ooh, I can feel that in my... Oh, this, this muscle here on the other leg I can feel. What is that called? The quad? I forget. You don't have to know what it is. <laughs> Just know that it's stretching. Alright. And then back into that tent. This is a really good, this is kind of the, the strongest part of the stretch, I think, for me anyway. All right, then a little hop forward. And then slowly coming up. And then you get that kind of classic yoga thing where you're supposed to be all like peace with the universe and everything. So, yeah, I, you know, I, I feel a little bit better. I usually I'll like repeat that like maybe twice. Should do it three times, but ain't nobody got time for three times. So, yeah, I think you know it's really important just to take that little bit of precaution. It's like you know prepping and preparedness in general. Take a little bit of uh, prep precaution ahead of time to prevent you know bigger issues down the road. And Stretching is not my favorite thing in the world to do, but it's a lot better than getting injured. That's it. Thanks for watching.